Hey guys, so I am here with a quick video. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I've not sat down and done it. But, um, so, I have my comments to where I have to like approve them and all this kind of stuff. And for the past like, set, like couple of months, I've been getting several like negative comments and First of all, nobody sees them but me. So, they're getting approved, obviously. But, um, <clears throat> anyways, I just wanted to come on here and talk for a minute. Um, I really don't even know what to say or how to, like, how to address this. But, all of those comments that y'all comment, and I'm talking about my haters here, um, is way beyond disrespectful and very cold hearted, very hurtful. Um, you have no clue of anything about how I live my life and what I do. First of all, what I put out there for you guys is only certain segments of my life, certain things of my life. Um, to make things clear, I don't live in a assisted living house. I don't live in a trailer. And even if I did, that would be my business. I don't. I have my own house that I rent. And um, there was like nasty comments saying that, yeah, she's living in a um, like assistant living house and it's um, a trailer. First of all, no, it ain't. Second of all, I don't. And if I did, excuse me. It would be my business and I wouldn't be ashamed of it because I've lived in a trailer as a young kid. I was raised dirt poor. I had nothing. <clears throat> like I literally had nothing. I could, I, I could talk to you guys of the dramatic things as a child that I encountered and the living that I lived in, the things that I seen, the things that a child my age should have never seen. Um, I could tell you those things, but I don't want to. I don't have to. That's part of my life. That's part of my journey. And those things that I endure, like endured as a child, um, only certain few, certain few people know about it that are close to me, um, that I felt deserved that I could talk to them about. Um, and maybe one day I'll share it and I know that I will one day, but as of now, I don't have to. So, for someone to come at me saying um, she is living in an assistant living or assistant housing um, authority type thing like HUD or whatever the crap it is. I don't know. That's, you know, that can be a good thing for someone. Someone that is in need of that type of assistance. Like, you shouldn't be knocking people down that need that. There's plenty of people that need that. And... You know, things in this world's hard right now, and the audacity that these wicked people, cruel, disrespectful trolls, think that they could come on people's channels and lock like down them and make them feel like a piece of dirt is way beyond me. Because let me tell you stuff, the things that these people say, and it's one little group of them, they think it's funny, they think it's cute, but it's sickening. Like, it is beyond sickening and um i just don't get it like if you don't like me stay the heck off my channel you don't have to follow me i mean because clearly the ones that are doing that are poking fun of me and are trying to make me feel bad about myself you don't know the hell the absolute freaking hell that I've been through as a child. You don't know the hell that I've been through as an adult. So for y'all to come at me with these stupid comments on my channel that I do on my channel is way beyond me. And it's very disrespectful. So I just want you guys to know right now, like I've held this in for a long, long time. And has it hurt me? Yes, it, it's really hurt me. Because I don't put stuff on my channel to think that people can come at me with their very, very hurtful disrespect that they give me that I don't even deserve. Like, at all. So, those of you that are doing that 
Are you a grandmother? Are you a mother? Are you a sister? Are you a friend? Do you go to church? Like, do you understand the hurt that you cause people and people that are not mentally stable could really off themselves because of the bullying crap? Like, I do not get it. Like, is your life that boring? Or is your life just perfect that you think that you can sit and down somebody, call them fat, call them flathead, call them that their hair looks like a rat nest, like saying all these hurtful things to somebody, like it's bullcrap. And I want you guys to know, not my followers, those of you that stood by me since day one, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, but this is ridiculous. And um, I'm just going to start blocking people. And, you know, I've already got my crap set to where the comments get approved. I'm going to just start deleting and blocking because I don't have time for your bullcrap. Like, I really don't. But y'all need to recheck yourself because God don't like ugly. And he don't like people like you all to put people down. Like, it's not right at all. Like, it's not. And, I mean, there was, an even, like, there was even a comment stating that... All of the candy and all of the junk food that I purchase is all for me. Okay. I could I could take pictures. I wish I did, but I have took my brother multiple bags, trash bags size of junk food and of food that my kids didn't eat because it, like, it was getting close to expire and my brother didn't have much to eat, so I gave him that. And for me saying, yeah, I was raised up poor and I didn't have nothing to eat, so I overbuy, that is an understatement. I cannot express the amount that I feel like I have to keep buying food or junk food, things that I didn't have growing up. And you want to harp on me about makeup and lip gloss and Bath and Body Works? First of all, I slowed down on Bath and Body Works, and I'll tell you why I bought a lot of Bath and Body Works growing up. Do you know what it's like not having anything? And as a child saying, I can't wait till I can be able to afford something like that and buy for myself. And you want to harp at me saying, she buys junk. She buys tons of lip gloss. She buys tons of makeup, junk crap from the Dollar Tree. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now and right here. The junk that you think that is my junk is treasures to me. The, the, the body sprays, the perfumes, the lotions. Hey, I like those things. That's something that I like. And just because you disagree that you think that I don't need all that stuff, guess what? Honey, I like it. And I'm a grown adult. And I work dang hard for my money. Like, I literally work day in and day out. 40, 50 hours a week. Um, and people's harped on my job saying that I don't work. There's no way that she can work. Oh, and about the flu. <clears throat> I've just held this in long enough and I'm, I'm completely over it. I wasn't going to make a video. I'll come in from work. I'm tired. I don't feel good. Ever since I've had type A flu, it's lingered with me and I feel like crap and weakness. It's, it's a whole freaking another long story about it, but the symptoms that prolongs with it. But um, so some of the videos that I had posted was like almost a week later, uh, the video that I had posted that I was in my bra or wasn't in my bra and they couldn't believe that I would even go into store like that. So I had to take my daughter somewhere and her friend. Okay. Um, actually to her dad's to get some stuff on the way back. We needed to stop at the store. I didn't think I was going to stop at the store, but I was wanting something. So we stopped there. <clears throat> I didn't have my brow on. I had a jacket on. Like, it, like I was covered, but I was making a statement saying that, oh my gosh, I look like, you know, I looked a mess. But for people to have the audacity to come on here and say, oh my God, she wasn't sick. She didn't have the flu. She's making that up. Oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is what they said. She just wanted to pretend to have the flu, the flu so she can take off work. First of all, let me tell you something, guys. Where I work, you have a five-day pay of being out of work, sick pay. That's it, six pay, sick pay, five days. Okay. First of all, I was out a whole week. 
second of all, I had used multiple of those when my son was sick with a virus, and then he had the flu that last week, and then I came down with the flu. So, let me tell you something. Did I want to choose to stay out of work during close to holidays to pretend that I had the flu? I don't play those games. I don't pretend sickness. I went to the freaking walk-in clinic. I had papers, proof that I've had the flu, but I don't have to show that to y'all because, you know, I don't have to. I'm not going to sit and lie about having the flu because I don't do that crap. But let me tell you something. You folks out there, and I'm going to address this, and I ain't going to say no more until I need to, but this is my channel. I run my channel. I make videos what I want to make videos. I post things that I want to post things about, but for you to come on here and criticize me and make fun of me and poke at me and say that I'm fat, look, okay, I might be fat, but let me tell you something, and then you want to ask me why I want to be on a freaking diet multiple times? You don't know the things that I've been through. You don't know the hurtful things in my past that people said to me. You don't know the, the hurtful, th hurtful things that you all have said to me that make me want to be on a diet because of you wanting to hurt my feelings and making me feel less of myself. So when you want to come at me saying, um, she's fat, have you looked at yourself? Is there anything on you that you need to work on? Because none of us are perfect here. Not one single one of us are perfect. Not one. I don't claim to be perfect. I have tons of issues in my life. I have tons of hurt. I have turn, like tons of things that I try working on as a person. But for these people to come at me saying that I look these things or I do these things or I do this way. Let me tell you something. God sees you. God up above sees you and he hears every little keyboard that you're typing. And you are coming at people. And you know what? Some people can't handle this type of negative criticism that you're giving people and it's downright bullying and, and abuse. So let me tell you something. You need to think, what if they were doing this to your granddaughter or your daughter or your spouse or your friend or even you? How would you feel? What y'all see on my channel or what you like partake everything the way that you see it may not be how it is. So, you know what? You don't need to be coming at me anymore because you're going to be getting deleted. You're going to be getting blocked because I try to overlook it. I try not to let it get to me. But the things these people think that they have to say, and I get it, y'all. I put my stuff out there. I do hauls. I do, you know, videos, singing videos inspiration videos. I haven't done those in a while. Guys, you don't know what people go through. You don't know the hurt that people's encountered. You don't know how an individual was raised. You don't know things that each people have carried. You don't know. So, I don't know what the heck these people think they have the right to bash me. I don't care what they say about, like, the, you know, I do care what they say, but, you know, that they, they can talk about those things the way that they do. But what I'm saying at, those things that they're saying is very freaking hurtful. Like, I don't, like, you know, them reading it backwards and forth and laughing and cutting up about it. They may think that crap's funny and they think it's a good time. But when it's the person sitting there reading those things, it is unbelievable. And it's very hurtful and it's very disrespectful. Like, I don't have to do YouTube. But when I first started YouTube, it was couponing girl. And I started it doing coupons. I was married and I needed, an, like, an outage to, like, you know, like, just to get away from life and just, like, you know, do something different. Do something that I love. Like, have a hobby of something that I like to do, okay? And, like, I have met so many amazing people that have helped me on here. That's been my friend. That's encouraged me. People that I followed. And I think a heck of, like, a whole lot about these people. But... I don't have to do YouTube, and I don't have to do that, but I like doing it. Like, I've, I've met people on here that's amazing, and it's a hobby of mine 
that I like. And I do get paid for YouTube. And that, you know, me like me being a single parent, it helps me. That's, you know, an opportunity that I can help my kids like with whatever they need. But for people to come at me and say these hurtful things that, oh, she's selfish. She don't buy for her kids. She don't get for her kids. Let me tell you something. You let, let, let me make myself clear to you all that think you know everything to make you all think that I have to show everything that I purchase for my children, which I don't have to. I give my, my kids money. I give them things that they want, what they need. And I've done it at times and I've done without. So for you all to sit and make those statements to a single mother that's working her ass off. Yeah, I said a bad word. That has started from the whole bottom to get to the top. And for you all to make that type of statement is sickening. Because first of all, y'all have no clue as of what I do behind these closed doors and what I get my children. That's a fact. Every Christmas, that is when it's Christmas time, I remember making ten fifty an hour at the nursing home. And I remember making sure, oh, I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. Christmas is coming. I remember sacrificing. And I'm like, my bills are going to be behind. Yeah. But my kids are going to have Christmas. And my kids are going to have money. And it happens year after year. And you know what? God's been good to me. Like the job that I have, it's stressful at times, but I make way more money than before. I can do more things with my kids. Every week, every weekend I'm out doing things with my kids. We're going out to eat. We're going shopping. We're doing, you know, fun things, things that I couldn't do as a kid. You know, when I was grown up, I never did get to eat at restaurants. I probably ate once a week if that and it was Long John Silver's and it wasn't every week. But for people to get behind keyboards and hurt someone and think that it's funny and think that it's cute. So what if I was on assistant living? So what if I was getting food stamps? I'm not, but I've got them before. So what? If I needed that? If I needed them now and I could get them, I would get them because you know what? I'm not up here. I'm down here. I don't I don't need to be up above everybody. I'm trying to get through this life, guys, and raise my kids and be happy. Be freaking happy. That's all that I want. So it's beyond me why why these people want to come at me so angry, cold-hearted, and disgusted. And I'm sure y'all gonna be having a field day now after I address this, but you know what? I don't care. But I want you to know your hurtful words that you've said about me, yeah, you hurt me. And a lot of those things that y'all said about me about my weight, you wanna know why I want to try to lose weight is mainly because of you freaking haters. Because you say I have a big belly and you say that my face is fat and you say that my body's made weird. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you guys something. God made me the way he wanted to make me. So you know what? I can't help that. <clears throat> but I'm healthy. I have hands. I have arms. I have feet. I have a roof over my head. I have food to eat. So if you want to sit and poke fun of that... And be the way that y'all want to, you go right ahead. Because you, But your day's going to come when all this crap that you're doing here on social media is going to come back to you tenfold. Don't be ugly to people. Don't sit and criticize. And yeah, you know what? I think it's because of jealousy. Because if you wasn't jealous and obsessed with me, yeah, I said it. If you didn't care what I done, what I look like, what I ate, then why follow me year after year and be a troll to someone that I've gave you pieces of my life, but you don't know what I've been through. You don't know the hurt that I've been through. You don't know the things that's happened to me. You don't. You see what you see, the halls, this and that and the other. 
you know what? I don't have much, but I do have a lot. I have a good heart, and I know the Lord, and I know what I was taught as a child is to do people right and don't treat them bad. So, for y'all to come at me like that and poke fun, you know what? I see you and God sees you. And I hope that you're happy now. I hope that whenever y'all see this video, y'all can get behind your little keyboards and laugh and cut up and, and all this crap. It might be getting y'all somewhere, but you need to remember on the other side of the cr the screen and the keyboard that y'all are doing, it's a human being. I'm a person. And God made me and God loves me. And for y'all to be that way and be ugly and disrespectful, shame on you. Freaking shame on you. Because it's not funny. It's actually quite sickening. I mean, what more do y'all want for, like me to say to you to make, like, why do you care? about what I eat, what I look like. If I live in assistant home for help, why do y'all care? Is it because I'm a single parent <clears throat> and I work my butt off and I can get the things that I can get? Is that what it is? Because I can't, I, I've thought about it and I've, I, I've tried to figure this whole situation out but I don't have no freaking clue. I don't. I don't. And <clears throat> the freaking things about K-cups and coffee and I buy so much. Let me tell you something. I like coffee. I drink coffee. And if I'm going to pay 10 or $15 for 24 things of K-cups, girl, I'm going to buy them. Because I drink coffee 24-7. Seven days a freaking week, three times a day. Do I want to buy a thing that you can refill your coffee cup thing in to make coffee? I've done that before, but now I don't want to do that right now. If I want to do that, I'll do that, but I'm a grown adult. I make my freaking money, and I buy K-cups, okay? So, what's the deal with that? Why is that such a problem? I, I don't get it. And then you're the one that's saying that when you're probably going to Dunkin' Donuts or freaking uh, Starbucks buying your $8 coffee when I have a freaking uh, 10 pack over here for 5 or $10. So yeah, come at me again, darling. You fail to forget what you're doing, what you're buying, what you're eating. Is it junk food? Is it healthy? Who cares? We're down here trying to survive in this freaking life down here. Be happy with yourself. Don't come at other people and be disrespectful because you know what? It ain't going to get you nowhere. And it's not going to make you look better than the other person because I, I, I can promise you this. It's making you look like a freaking idiot. So that's that. And I'm sorry, those of you that's followed me for all these years has to come on here and see this garbage. But let me tell you something. Trolls and bullies, being trolls and bullies is not okay. It's not. And these bullies and trolls think that they can say, well, if she can't handle it, well, she shouldn't make uh, YouTube videos. Let me tell you something. That's not true either. Just because I get on a platform and make a, a social media a video on YouTube does not give you the right to come at me and bully me. Does not give you the right to say those things. People commit suicide every single day for crap like this. And you know, I can handle it. But there's been times in my life where I've read those things. And even after I've read those things, waves of life have knocked me under. And that crap that I read made me feel that much more lower. And I get why people can do harmful things to themselves for people that bully one another. And it needs to stop. 
Like, it really freaking needs to stop. Because you know what? Even in everyday life, it is not okay to bully one another. It is not okay to be disrespectful for one another. What in the world has this world came to for people to sit and think that those actions are okay? Because you know what? It's not. It's not. You know, holidays are up on us. And this year... Every year, every holiday, I do Christmas for my kids. But you know what? Every holiday since my parents have died and my grandparents and almost all of my family has died. And I have a whole nother issue with my brother. My only flesh and blood brother that is on drugs and is out of it. Like he, he's out of it. And it breaks my heart because I go over there and check on him all the time. At least once a week. And he has no food. And he, his little home that he lives in breaks my heart. And to see people sit and, and, and say things at me about like, I'm living in a trailer or I'm I, like, I'm eating junk food or I'm doing this. But you fail to remember what others are going through. And I have a brother during holidays that's got off the wrong path and Lord knows if he'll ever come back because his, his brain's probably fried. And I sit and read these things and you know what? I have a lot to be thankful for. You know, I can buy that junk food. I can buy my makeup. I can buy my lotion. I can buy my spray. But there's people that can't. There's people that's lost their way and there's people that don't have anything. So, yeah, so to, to bully people when they're experiencing low times in their life and holidays coming and the like the loneliness and just to be able to feel like, just to breathe, like there's times I feel like I can't even breathe through Thanksgiving or Christmas. But God gives me hope and strength and grace and my four kids give me the breath that I need to get through the holidays. So if I want to buy my freaking cookies and shove in my mouth to eat or my donuts, if I want to get on my diet to try to make me feel better because people are bullying me or whatever, I'm going to do that. It's not okay to bully one another. And it's not okay to do that. I don't care if it's social media. Even though it's social media, it's it's someone's life you're talking about. But any day I wait to get a call for my only flesh and blood, like for my aunt, to say that something's happened to my brother. And a lot of the way, the reason why he is the way that he is now is because of the crap that happened to him as a kid. And I'm another one that's a victim of that crap. So for you all to sit and think it's okay, let me tell you, it's not okay. It's not. Y'all have no earthly idea what people has been through. And you know what? Maybe you guys that are are behind these boards and, and trolling people, maybe y'all have had a bad time or a bad childhood or maybe you don't have a lot of money. You know what? I'll pray for you. I'll, I'll pray for whatever that is in your heart that makes y'all want to be ugly to people. Because you know what? If you look at it in a way or another, something's wrong. Something's wrong to want to treat someone the way that y'all do. And, and I don't even know y'all's names. There's so many of you, but y'all know who you are. And this ain't just relating to me or my channel. It's everybody's. Shame on y'all. Shame on y'all to hurt people. Shame on you. Shame on you. But to sit and to sit, like, just to sit and sit. For, for y'all to sit and think that I am the most self-centered person y'all have ever met in your life. That is not accurate, guys. Not one 
100% at all. Like, it, it blows my freaking mind. Y'all don't know me if you think that. I would give anything I had to anybody to help them. Clothes off my back, anything. I'm not a ma you, materialistic person, huh? Are you yeah, I'm making a video. I'll be there in a minute, buddy. Isaiah was coming there telling me the food was ready. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm not a materialistic person. I'm thankful for what God's given me. He's blessed me with things. I don't have a whole fancy home. But my house is a mansion compared to what I had to grow up in. And I'm thankful for it. And I told my mama one day, I was turning into a teenager and I was so sad and depressed because of my living environment and the things that I was encountering and the things that I was seeing that was taking place to my mom and it was just a hard time. It was a hard time. And I told her, I said, one day I'll have better. And I'll never forget her coming in there and asking me what was wrong when I was just crying. And I just said, one day I'll have better, Mama. And she said, yeah, I know. You will. So, guys... Stop the bullying. Stop being mean to one another. Love one another. Be kind. And get a little forgiveness in your heart. I mean, for for whatever reason that y'all don't like me, I don't even know what I've done for you all to make y'all hate me. I, it, it's beyond me. And, you know, you don't have to like me, but I do deserve respect. So, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to, you know, exit off of here. But I needed to share that. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll be praying for all of y'all. And I'll be praying for the bullies too. That the Lord will come into their heart and change them. Because they need God's grace. So, bye guys.